Hello again, everybody. You're watching The Breakfast Show here on Sky News. Big day for Northern Ireland politics. Let's bring in Sir Geoffrey Donaldson, leader of the Democratic Ulster Unionist Party. De Democratic Unionist Party, forgive me. It's good to see you. Thank you very much indeed for joining us on the programme this morning. Uh, the morning. first and Deputy First Minister's um, chair power, we know that. But how big a blow is it uh, to the unionist psyche uh, to have a nationalist holding the title of the big job? Well, look, I'm a Democrat, and uh, uh, when you fight elections, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But let's not forget that the um, uh, office of First Minister, it's a joint office. They are co-equal. Uh, and uh, we will uh, work uh, with the other ministers in the executive uh, to deliver for everyone in Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland remains firmly part of the United Kingdom, and that's what's important for us. I fought hard over the last two years uh, to restore our place within the United Kingdom and its internal market, and that hasn't changed. So perhaps the title should be changed to Joint First Minister? Well, look, that's a matter uh, for uh, discussions as we go forward, but that's the legal reality of the situation. Uh, yeah, and uh, we will was. work with uh, Michelle O'Neill and the other ministers uh, to ensure that the issues that really matter to people are dealt with by this executive. The priorities that ordinary people have, whether it's health, the, we have the longest waiting lists in the UK, investing in our young people, our education system, growing our economy and creating jobs for our people. These are the kind of priorities that people across Northern Ireland have, regardless of their background. I understand that, Sir Geoffrey. I was just asking for your view on whether the title should be looked at again. Well, as I've said, uh, those are matters for discussion with the political parties. What's your uh, view? The fact that the uh, Office of First Minister is co-equal is co between the two, um, I think, uh, says everything we need to know. That is the legal reality. Uh, and I know that they will work together, along with the other ministers, uh, to ensure uh, that we build a better Northern Ireland, a Northern Ireland that works for everyone here. OK. Um, in its deal, the UK government says a vote on Irish unity is decades away, but the First Minister, the First Minister says it'll happen in the next 10 years. Who's right? Oh, I don't agree with that at all. And I think that uh, uh, Michelle O'Neill, instead of focusing on a divisive border poll, she says uh, she wants to be a First Minister for all. Well, that means the unionist community. Um, uh, I, Every single opinion poll in Northern Ireland uh, shows that some 60% of people here, at least that level, support the union. And that means that uh, the executive has to proceed on that basis. Northern Ireland remains an integral part of the UK. I've spent the past two years ensuring that our place in the UK is respected and protected in law. Now that we have that, let's move forward together. Let's focus on the issues that really matter to people. They're not interested in a divisive border poll. They want to know what we're doing about the health service, the waiting lists, investing in our children and young people, uh, delivering childcare support for working families in Northern Ireland, creating jobs, building a future that we can all be proud of in this place. The First Minister of Northern Ireland, um a representative of Sinn Féin says that uh, it will happen, unity will happen in the next 10 years. We could see Mary Lou Macdonald in charge in Dublin uh, after the elections there. You may well not want to see uh, unity within the next 10 years. Um, the First Minister and others may have a different view. In fact, they do. Uh, and indeed, they're entitled to their view, as am I. Uh, and I'm afraid on this uh, uh, case, um, the statistics, the numbers are on my side because there is no evidence whatsoever uh, that there is a shift uh, away from Northern Ireland remaining in the par a part of the UK. Uh, all of the nationalist parties combined have no more than 38% of the vote in Northern Ireland. How on earth does that represent anything close to a majority. Northern Ireland is part of the UK. The union is the future. Northern Ireland can thrive within the United Kingdom. And it's up to people like me to make the case for the union, to broaden support for the union. I'm up for that task. But for now, people are glad to see the executive back, Stormont working, and they want to see 
uh, the party's now delivering for them okay. on public services, uh, okay. on our public finances, yep, on health, that, education, so jobs, yep. housing, Absolutely. all of these things Absolutely. are the priorities. We only have a limited amount of time, sir, so if, if you forgive me for interrupting, if you truly believe that this is all going to work, why did you co-opt Emma Little Bengeli, uh, Pengeli, uh, the new deputy, deputy first minister, into the seat that you won? Well, that was two years ago now. That's old news. Uh, Emma oh, really? is uh, the last uh, appointed time to the office of... Uh, uh, Emma, uh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, I think you should check your facts. Uh, Emma was co-opted into the Assembly two years ago now. She's been a member of this Assembly. Uh, and I have abided fully with the rules in undertaking uh, uh, that uh, decision. And I've appointed Emma, a very capable young woman, who I think will demonstrate uh, what is best about Northern Ireland. Uh, and I think that she will work well in that post. Uh, and we will continue as a party uh, to work with others to deliver for Northern Ireland. Um, do you think that the that uh, Rishi Sunak got Brexit done? Well, I think that uh, we've made real progress. Uh, the changes that we have secured, that people said couldn't be achieved, and we have delivered, I think will bind Northern Ireland more closely into the United Kingdom once more and its internal market. And I think that uh, our unfettered access to the market in the United Kingdom, of which we are an integral part, is vital to our economy. It's our biggest market. But we okay. also have the benefit of privileged access to the EU single market. And I think that makes Northern Ireland a very very attractive location for international investment. Did you get Brexit? Has he got Brexit done, is my question. Well, of course, the United Kingdom has left the European Union. Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom. That is the reality. Uh, and uh, Northern Ireland is part of the UK internal market. It's part of the UK customs union. Uh, and uh, the changes that we have secured undo the harm uh, that was done to Northern Ireland through uh, the protocol. Is there more to do? Absolutely, okay. yes. Uh, and Final. we will continue to strive Final. for Before further change go, Jeffrey, to make this place um, the best yes. place to live and work. OK, final thought before I let you go. Are you going to stand at the next election? Well, uh, those are matters that I will turn to over the next few months. Uh, my focus has been uh, on delivering the change that is necessary to restore our place in the United Kingdom okay. and to, make, to give the opportunity uh, to Northern Ireland the potential to become a great place to live and work. OK, it's good to see you. Thanks very much indeed for taking the time to join us this morning. Thank you. Thank